Now, the rest of the story. In the late 1960s, Fred Smith was a student at Yale, trying without much success to make a particularly good impression on his economics professor. But then Fred got this idea for a brief economics thesis, something a whole lot more interesting than you might expect from a college paper. Anyway, the topic, Fred's original idea now, was a super-efficient, privately managed postal service, a hypothetical company that would buy for itself a fleet of jet aircraft and the planes would fly only in the middle of the night? (laughs) Don't get ahead of me. Letters and packages would be taken to a central location for sorting. Then the planes would fly the parcels to their destinations the same evening. That's right, that was the paper that Fred wrote for his economics class. And today, Frederick W. Smith is chairman and president and CEO of that hypothetical company. Only it's not hypothetical anymore. Today it employs 290,000 people. It earned $38 billion over the last fiscal year. Oh, in the fleet of jets that Fred envisioned in his economics class paper, there are 672 planes in it now and 80,000 other motorized vehicles in the service of, that's right, in the service of Federal Express, the corporation that began as a college whim and became a worldwide sensation. In 1971, in the beginning, of course, Federal Express was antithetically defined as an alternative to the government-run postal system. But isn't it interesting? Some of the refinements that Fred Smith incorporated into his revolutionary enterprise were indirectly inspired by the government. You see, after graduating from Yale, Fred enlisted in the Marine Corps. He would serve two tours of duty in Vietnam. Incidentally, he'd never forget what he considers the best advice he ever got. It was from a Marine sergeant who told him there are only three things you've got to remember. Shoot, move, and communicate. But more to the point, Lieutenant Smith became fascinated by military procurement and delivery procedures and his observations only encouraged him so that when he got back home, he told himself he would go forward with that overnight commercial delivery service, the one he had dreamed up in college, and his main competitor, the United States Postal Service. Today it's barely holding on to its 32% share of that market against the 31% market share of Fred Smith's Federal Express. And can you imagine, it all started with a college paper for an ordinary economics class. It's not often that the origin of an institution can be pinpointed so precisely. But here's the lesson in all of this. How easily Fred Smith might have been discouraged. Or did I mention that on that school paper he wrote, the one in which he outlined one of the biggest business successes in all American history. On that school paper, he got a C. He was graded a C. (laughs) Only now you know the rest of the story.